What up, sweets? This is a fun way to add boho decor to your kitchen or make your own wallpaper for only $10. All you need is painter's tape and paint. I started by taking a thicker painter's tape to create a border around the backsplash. I thought this would be cool to have the border. I'm actually not that sold on the border part, so feel free to skip this step. Then I used a quarter inch painter's tape to go in and make a kind of diagonal grid, sort of like diamond tiles across the wall. If you're fancy, you can use a measuring tape and measure out the exact distance between the lines. I tried this for a second and then I just got tired of it. I'm more lazy than fancy, really, and I felt comfortable just eyeballing it. Once everything is taped up in a satisfying little grid, get your painting clothes on and you're ready to paint. I chose this soft medium saturation pink color called Pepperberry by PPG. Always stir the paint before using it. Even if it looks like it's mixed, just trust me and do it. My plan here was to paint a different little boho design or pattern in each diamond. Obviously, you can paint any style of design you like, but if you're going for a sort of bohemian tone like me, here are some guidelines. I tried to mix it up with 50% allusions to nature and 50% abstract design. The boho vibe is very forgiving. It actually is better if it looks hand-drawn and not exact. That really does work for the aesthetic, so it's great to do it by hand. Objects from nature are a staple in boho design, so we're talking sunshines, we're talking lotuses, we're talking mountains, moon slivers, leaves. Remember to subscribe and like this video if that's what you feel like doing. For the abstract design, I alternated between patterns of straight lines and curved patterns. It's all about balance. Also, dots. Dots were big here. I don't know what it is about bohemians and dots, but they are absolutely codependent. I liked doing this one effect with the mountains. I just dip the brush and paint one time and try to paint the whole mountain peak. And by the end of the mountain, you're kind of running out of paint, and so it gives this cool shaded effect. This project can take a little bit of time, but it is delightful to do with a friend or even a fun enemy. You can put on music or a podcast, but personally, I like to do creative things alone in silence because I like to zone out and drift into the abyss. I highly recommend it because there are actual cognitive benefits to zoning out. Research shows that when your body goes into autopilot, such as during mindless repetitive tasks like painting a wall or folding laundry, laundry, your brain gets busy forming new neural connections that connect ideas and solve problems. So this is the mental state when a lot of people report having their big breakthrough ideas and revelations. And this mental state is also highly dependent upon being properly bored. So it's kind of hard to achieve if you're entertaining yourself with your phone or watching TV. So, if you're struggling with a life problem or you've hit a creative wall, go paint a wall, fold some laundry in silence, get bored, and it is scientifically likely that while you zone out, you will have some kind of breakthrough. I'm not just making this up, this is literal science. You can read more about it. Um, I'll link some videos and articles about this phenomenon below. If there's any part of your backsplash that you want to paint over and do again, but you don't have that original color, like the white color here, you can get a paint match at your hardware store. All you need to do is get like a half inch paint chip and bring it to your hardware store. Get the paint chip from like behind an outlet cover or somewhere you're not going to see, and then they can match that paint for you. I really loved how this backsplash design came out and it was so fun to do, but I wanted to show you guys a second version, so I actually went in, painted over everything to show you option number two. For this, I used the same quarter inch thin painter's tape and just made these thin stripes all along the backsplash. And I even did the enclosing walls on the side. I wanted to do a kind of just organic stripe pattern the painter's tape I'm using will not give you a super crisp, clean line. If you want a super crisp line, you should use something called, I think it's called frog tape. 
but for this tape I knew it would kind of probably bleed a little bit and that is kind of perfect for what we're going for. With the Bohemian vibe, like I said, it's more hand-drawn, it's more organic, it's not so exact, so that works for what I'm doing. If you want something more exact, you should do frog, or frog tape, I think that's what it is. And then I just painted over, I did two coats, I removed the tape, there were some pieces that were a little messy, but again, it really didn't bother me in the big picture. And I love the warmth, the texture, and the depth that it added to my kitchen. Again, for like $10, fabulous. And that's it for this project. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments which backsplash you prefer. I ended up keeping the blue one, but maybe I made a terrible mistake. If you liked this project, you can give a thumbs up to the video and subscribe to the channel, and I'll be sending more videos your way soon. Bye-bye.